guys and welcome back to another Sir Spooks reaction. Uh in this one we're gonna be reacting to the Sir Spooks top five videos that'll make you paranoid. Um like always the original will be in the description linked in the description. So if you enjoyed uh if you enjoy Spooks videos, uh head over to his channel through the link and give it a like if you want to see more of Spooks videos, uh sub to him. If you enjoyed my reaction, give me a uh, like, and if you enjoy my, uh, if you want to see more of my reactions, uh, give me a sub. Let's go ahead and uh, get right into the video, shall we? Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spook, Hello, Sir and today Spooks. we'll take a look at 5 scary videos. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future uploads. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's begin. The following video was published to TikTok by a user named Louis Hudipo and seems Hudipo? to showcase him and a friend walking around what appears to be a rundown apartment. This video takes a seriously sinister turn at around the 2 minute and 20 second mark, however. As we watch Look at all the dust that was in the air. Allergy central. The footage play out. This suddenly happens. Lo que nos está pasando aquí? Sí, 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 es para que las cosas bien. The two men standing in the room can only stop and stare at the scene that just unfolded before their very eyes for several seconds before they even dare. It, it almost looked like some sort of animal ran out of there before they could get the camera over there. If you look at whatever that thing is down by the leg of the uh, bed frame, that was moving. Yeah, to begin speaking again. They stay in the same spot for the remainder of the video, likely too worried to move in the fear that something else will happen if they even move so much as a muscle. As for what exactly happened in this footage, is anybody's guess. Did that fall off of the top of the bed? If I had to guess, uh, as I said, uh, I think an animal would have might have run out. That's about all I could think of that would cause this. What are your thoughts on this short clip? Was there poltergeist activity happening in Louis Huidubo's house? Well, that thing's a remote. Did those objects tumble to the ground on their own accord? Or was there something far more sinister at play here? Be sure to let me know your opinion in the comments. It looks like an animal got spooked, ran out of there, and uh, when it was running out of there, it hit the box, which hit the bed frame which you saw when the guy touched it he easily moved so basically i'm guessing that's unstable and that's the best i can think of uh to just to describe this there are other ways to describe it but that's the best way i can think of number four do you all remember the terrifying clown craze all the way back in 2016 when it seemed as if we saw a new clown sighting every other day Thankfully, that trend died out relatively quickly, but it seems as if some people never truly let go of it. This video was published to the Two Way Brothers YouTube channel on September 5th, 2022, okay. and follows some German explorers who are venturing around an eerie abandoned hospital. For the first little while in the video, the explorers don't seem to find anything of interest whatsoever, just some graffitied up walls and some rubble scattered across. This place definitely does look, uh, Abandoned. All the graffiti alone, uh, pretty much points that out, but odd thing is how cleanly the gra graffiti is, uh, put on the walls. Across the floor beneath them. However, well, some of it. A couple of minutes into the exploration, this suddenly happens. Yeah. That's more like it. That's what I'm used to. Filthy graffiti. That's what I'm used to. 
Die Etage. Nee. Das ist nicht der Wind. Hallo? Somebody hitting something. Sounds like a. Uh, possibly something made of uh, aluminum. Maybe a vent or something. Hallo? Maybe even a door, I guess. That could be, but. Sounds like somebody hitting an aluminum vent. Auf gar keinen Fall ist es der Wind. Or sheet of some sort. Ah, ja, wir müssen einfach mal runter. Ja. Uh! <lacht> Scheiße. Nein, das war unter uns. Bist du jetzt unter uns? Wir lassen uns verpissen, Alter. Lass mal suchen. Komm, wir suchen, Baby. Bist du oben, oder? Uh! Bist du oben jetzt oder unten? Digga, okay. wo bist du? A few moments go by before the explorers decide to venture outside the area to explore a little bit more before heading back inside to conduct more of the investigation. Most people tend to think that once they are outside they are safe, but that is not true for these YouTubers. I never really caught that. Why would people think they're safe outside uh, in what's like haunted locations or something like that? Either they think they'll be safe inside from the stuff outside or they think they'll be safe outside from the stuff inside what makes them think that stuff from outside can't go inside and stuff from inside can't go outside what's with you? no, he's here, there in that stock as they try to avoid whoever or whatever was making that terrifying noise. It wasn't a terrifying noise. No, that wasn't a terrifying noise. That was a joker laugh. They managed to capture something utterly bone chilling. Take a look and see for yourself. Thankfully, the group of explorers managed to walk their way out of the woods and away from all the chaos. But not before getting one last piece of creepy footage on their camera, albeit seemingly without them noticing. What? War ziemlich wild auf jeden Fall, ne? Judging by the looks of things, this particular area is definitely not a fun place to be. So let's hope that the two-way brothers don't decide to. What is that supposed to be? Come back here in the future for additional investigations. I'm not sure what that was supposed to have been. I couldn't really make it out. An apartment is supposed to be a place that you can call home. Usually when you move into an apartment, you don't expect it to be the place that will keep you up at night with terrifying experience. No, my insomnia keeps me up at night. But that's exactly what's happening to a TikTok user named Marcio Palmer. The video starts off with Marcio recording the television in the main room of the apartment, being as quiet as he possibly can. For what reason, we are not exactly sure, but it's likely because he wanted to record a sound for his viewers to hear. What starts off as a simplistic normal video quickly takes mm -hmm. a terrifying turn in just a few moments. Take a look. Wow, what convenience. It made the noise right as he got up and looked towards the door. Man, these ghosts and spooks and demons sure are cooperative.
Weren't those windows completely black before? And I really don't like it when stuff moves in an obvious direction where somebody could easily set up a string. If Masio's video is to be taken as 100% legitimate, then it's genuine. I'd never take a video like this as legitimate, but they did do a pretty good job on setting it up. I'll give them that. If they made a film, I, I probably would watch it. I'd probably enjoy it too. Genuinely staggering to see just how much seemingly paranormal activity. It's okay for stuff to seem overly fake if it's meant to be overly fake, but if it's meant to be serious, if it's meant to pass as real, then that's not good. Um, just choppy, uh, crappy work. But this one here uh, is pretty good. I wouldn't exactly call it crappy work. Uh, they could have put a little more effort into it uh, by s setting up to where the chair slid away, like towards the window or towards the corners of the room instead of towards him. Um, there are these little loops that you can get that will do that, that, that you can uh, screw in that will, you won't really be able to notice. And you can use them to uh, run the string through and create the same effect of the moving chair. It would make a way better uh, example of, well, it'd make a way better environment of uh, the chairs moving uh, instead of having them move to, towards where there could obviously be people pulling strings. They'll be, if they move like, towards the corners or towards the window away from everybody where it looks like it'd be harder to fake it and that'll create more of an effect for the video is happening inside his apartment to this day it seems as though Marcio has never gotten to the bottom of what was happening in this particular video which just makes things even more unsettling is Marcio living in an apartment that's occupied by paranormal entities if so what exactly do they want? Are they friendly or do they mean to do him some harm? Let's hope that it's the f If they meant to do him some harm, they wouldn't be moving chairs and knocking on doors. If you can move a chair, you can move a knife. Former. If you can move a chair, you can push somebody when they go near stairs. This next video was published to the highly popular High Strangeness subreddit, which is essentially one big collection of all sorts of photos, videos, and stories relating to the paranormal, UFOs, ancient cultures, cryptozoology anomalies, and other strange things. The video begins with a crowd of people talking in very loud and excited voices about something before the camera pans up to reveal that they are all gathered there to look at what appears to be a UFO hovering not too far in the sky above them. What happens next is so fast that if you blink, you'll miss it. Watch this next part very carefully. I'll try. This looks like a spotlight to me. Just as soon as it appears, the strange object in the sky can be seen darting out of view at an alarmingly high speed. If you go back and replay the video, you can see many people pointing at the object in the sky, tracing the object with their arms as it flies out of view. There's one man in the video wearing an orange and white hoodie who can be seen. Looks like spotlights reflecting off of clouds. That's all it looks like to me. Seen looking completely baffled a couple of seconds after the UFO flies out of sight. By all accounts, this footage definitely looks real. But what exactly were they looking at? 
Was it actually your foe? And is this legitimate footage of their existence? Be sure to let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below. It looks, ju it just looks like a spotlight. Even the way it moves. Decorating the house for Halloween is something that millions of people all around the world love to do. My sister loves decorating Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving. As it gives them a fun and exciting way to celebrate their love for the spooky season. That's, I don't think that's exactly why. I think it's because we didn't have the luxury of doing that as we were growing up. So now uh, she did good for herself, real good. She did the best out of all of us. And basically now she's able to. TikTok user Chell posted a video to his account saying that he walked outside to record a video Chell Del Bell of all the Halloween decorations on his house, audibly excited about what he was able to do with the house. However, just about 20 seconds into the video was when things get increasingly terrifying. Either way, the creepiest building on the block is always going to be this church across the street. Oh. Uh, see my neighbors are still. I get it. That's good. I like it, Jim. You got me, man. You guys, you guys keep doing it. I love it. It's awesome. Uh, anyway, I thought about like adding stuff to it, but what the fuck, Jim, Bobby, is that you, Bobby? I get it. I get it, man. Just gonna stare at each other for like what? You got me. I don't know what the fuck their problem is. I'm gonna keep doing this shit. I'm just gonna stare at him then. Fuck it, right? Woman's reaction, it seems like this is stuff his neighbors have done before. Shell continues to recall the two strange men in the masks for a prolonged period of time, perhaps unsure of what to do. It's clear by his quiet talking and overall demeanor that he's freaked out by them, but isn't sure what his next move should be. All of a sudden, a car passes by the two masked men, and this happens. They're standing in front of a hedge. If it wasn't a jump in the video, then they could have just ducked to the ground. Again, what makes you think that getting into the house, if that was something supernatural or anything like that, what would getting in the house do? How's it going to stop the stuff from coming in after you? Come on. At this, Chell proceeds to race back inside his house for the fear of his own safety, but it seems as though we can't even count his own house as a safe haven, because shortly afterward, this happens. All right, yeah, I know, Dizzy. You got me, Jim. You got me. You got me, man. You got. Okay, it's good. And just stay in your room. Ever since this video has been uploaded to the platform, it has caused many people to wonder what exactly was going on that night. The biggest question on everyone's mind is obviously, who were those two masked men? What did they want with Chell? Were they just messing around with him, or did they want to harm him? Were they cultists? If they wanted to harm him, they would have harmed him. They were close enough to be able to do it. The truth will likely never be uncovered. And that was 5 scary videos. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. I did like the video, it was good. That last one wasn't too bad, but uh, again, 
if what you think if you see something you think is supernatural inside or outside isn't going to make a difference no matter what they'd still be able to get you uh with the last one it looked like they ducked behind the hedge if there wasn't a jump cut uh with the doorbell thing i think that there'd be a third person that was just to the right of the door and would basically come and ring the bell uh before he opened it because he was slow to action uh and pause before opening it uh each time my name is sir spooks and i'll see you all in the next video see you next time sir spooks okay guys that's it for this video if you enjoyed the video uh as i said in the beginning uh for both myself and Sir Spooks, uh, likes, if you, uh, well, thumbs up. If you want to see more, again, Sir Spooks and myself, uh, if you want to see more from either of us, uh, give us a subscribe. And I will see you guys in the uh, next video.